Good day DBE learners and welcome to today's video where we are now looking into our two phases, looking at what needs to be done. We know our topic um, and we'll probably still be doing a little video about some more information around that. But let's just look at phase one. I know in the previous video we did the folder structure, so we already have that in place. And in this video, I just want to look at some of the things that we need to put in place while you are still busy doing the research because we can get these things out of the way. So here we have our folder structure. Have we done that? Yes, we've already done that. We know we've created over there our folder structure with phase one, two and three. Now, in the next section, they say to us, create a report. Now, this is going to be in the form of a Word document. Now, are we in phase one? Yes, we are. So what you can already do is just have your phase one open there. We can then go to Word and I'm just going to open that. And I'm going to just save a blank document. And I'm going to save it as phase one working document. So phase, whoa, phase one working document. And I'm going to save that onto my desktop. And I'm going to save it into that folder. Into phase one and save, right? So this is a blank document. I've saved it as phase one working document. And there you can see it is now in my pet phase one folder. So what do they want in this? They say now start the report that will be used as, as the final product. In other words, it will be in phase three as well to communicate your findings and conclusions. Don't worry if you're unfamiliar with some of the headings. You are simply putting together a skeleton template or structure at this stage. Right, we'll add content and other headings to this report document throughout the process of the three phases. So in this document, and here they say create a word processing report. Have we already created the word processing document? Yes, we have. They want a cover page, an automatic table of contents, an automatic table of figures, these are the headings that they want, table of contents, figures, introduction. And you can see that they want it in that order. And here they tell you, please note that some of the headings will not have content until you get to phase two or three. So we just put in the structure in place. Then they also mention an appendix under the heading appendices. You create it in your report with a diagram of a screenshot showing the folder structure, including any subfolders used in phase one. Give it a suitable heading such as folder structure and paste the diagram or screenshot in this appendix. Okay, so you'll have um, appendices and then under appendices, you'll have uh, maybe appendix A with that screenshot of your folder structure. And I'll show you how to do that. And then also an appendix with a declaration of authenticity that will be used during the phases. Okay, let's see what else they tell us. Apply the word processing skills you've learned to produce a professional looking document. So that's with regards to your formatting. All of those things. Um, take note of the style guide in Appendix B. So let's just go down to Appendix B and see what they're telling us in terms of the style guide. Here we go. So they mention on the cover page and the headings use appropriate content controls. Text should be typed in appropriate sizes. This should be the only page, the cover page, which on which a page border is used. So they don't want page borders on the other pages in your document. Avoid arty borders and backgrounds. Do not use word art or text art. They don't want you to use that. If a picture is used, the picture should be appropriate to the topic. Headings, the font used should be easy to read, for example. So they're not saying you must use these two, but they're giving examples. The font should vary between 12 to 18. So a minimum of 12 points in terms of your 
size and 18 being the largest. Okay, please take note of that. Please take note of that. Ensure the headings stand out clearly from other text. Use heading styles where appropriate to ensure that the headings are formatted in a consistent way. So folks, do you see? This is what I keep telling you. Um, everything is in the document. You, you just need to take the time to do some reading. All right, so this is what we need to do. We now have our document. And so in today's section, I'm just going to look at the cover page. Okay, so let's go. And what are we going to do? We are going to insert. And there we have cover page. Now there are templates built in and you can use any one of these. And let's just say I'm going to use this one. I'm going to click on integral. And there I have my cover page. Now you can see that I have sections here where I can add a name, etc. But let's look at what is required. So they say a professional looking well structured custom design cover page using appropriate content controls. Okay, so if you want to, you can change this picture to something more sort of AI related. Okay, so I can just right click on the picture and I'm just going to go change picture. This device and let's say we do that. Okay, so now we've changed our picture. Okay, uh, custom design cover page, and they want us to have your name and surname. So let's just put in here, John Smith. Do I have that? Yes, the name of my school. Uh, maybe I'm going to put in here, St. James High School. I don't even know if there's a St. James High School, but I'm just putting that in. Right, so I've got the name of a school, the subject name, and the pet topic. So you'll you'll put your pet topic here, and it's going to be ethics in AI. Please, I'm just summarizing everything. And the subject name, I can put that here. Computer applications technology. Okay, then. They say a content control for the abstract. Now, is there one here? Yes. And I have a video that actually takes you through the abstract itself, what it is, what you should be typing in there. So you can go and watch that video for this section. However, this is now the cover page. I'm done. Right? Did they say I need to change like the background and do a whole lot of changes and you know, add tons of colors. No. What was the requirement? My cover page, name and surname. Got it. Name of school. Subject name and pet topic. And you can put in, if you want to, computer applications, technology, grade 12, whatever you want to do, a content control, and that's done. Now, let's go to the rubric. And I'm going to do this every time in these videos to make sure that we have everything we need. Uh, technical, let's see, information summary. It's a single document, yes, do you see here? Minimum headings, so we still need to put our headings in and the appendix and the evidence of our sources, right in our source table. All right, so that's really it. Um, I think in phase three, if I am under correction or I speak under correction, let me just have a look here. In phase three, they mark you for that cover page. Let's just have a look. Let's just have a look. Here we go. So while you're doing it in phase one, you can see cover page correctly added. Appropriate content controls, yes, name, surname, name of school, topic added, meaningful abstract. You see, all we've done now, excluding that, that abstract that you need to do, um, which just you are going to be typing the focus of what you're going to be doing in this um, pet. All of that has already given you four marks in phase three. Okay, so just saying. All of that which we are 
doing over here. Some of it is going to play a role in phase one for marks. Others is going to play a role in phase three for marks. But this is how we create that. And this, folks, is then our cover page. A professional looking. And if we look at our text, we can see R. We just need to change that to 12. Remember, it's a minimum of 12. And in our document, um, the rest is a maximum of 18. To see, so in the rest of our document, it's going to be a minimum of twelve and a maximum of eighteen in terms of our font size. But folks, that's it for our cover page for the DBE. Grade 12 pet.